with the harbor expansion project coming to a finish and our departure date slowly approaching, we are reminiscing about our time here in Townsville. There's a few hidden gems that we have found to be absolutely wonderful for cruisers and for families. And we wanted to take this opportunity to not only share these finds, but also give a glimpse into what we have been up to while here in Townsville. If you enjoy this video, consider clicking the subscribe button and follow our adventures sailing around the world. Hi, we're the James family. Are you sick of your day-to-day -day life? Ever thought about doing something different? Well, we did just that. We bought an unfinished aluminium catamaran and we're fixing her up as we sail around the world. Come along for the journey and click subscribe. Daddy? Mommy? Townsville. Located on the northeast coast of Australia, it's the largest city in North Queensland with a population of over 180,000 people. This summer we decided to stay up in North Queensland in Townsville for a few reasons. One of the reasons being that there was work about to top up our cruising budget. One of the other reasons is that this season was predicted to be El Nino, which basically means that there is statistically less of a chance of a cyclone forming and crossing the coast. Well, after not one, but two cyclones later, and with the harbor expansion project coming to a close, it means that our time in Townsville is also coming to a close. One of our biggest joys has been the Breakwater Marina. The staff have exceeded our expectations, getting to know their tenants by name, and they are ready, willing, and able to help tenants with anything. We have also taken advantage of the marina's courtesy car, which they hire out for $10 for two hours. One of the biggest things that we saw during our time here was the care, how much they care for their tenants. During the cyclone that hit Townsville, the marina was prepped early and they sent out daily and hourly updates to tenants, making sure that tenants were also prepped. And they walked around making sure everyone had everything they needed and if not, they were ready and willing to help. to Brook Pools, conveniently located right next door to the Breakwater Marina. We put Charlie into swim lessons here and we saw a big jump in her swimming skills, ability, and her confidence in the water. We also got a swim pass to go to the pool outside of lessons as well. And with three pools to choose from, there's something for everyone. The passes were very reasonably priced, the staff super friendly, and it's a great spot to go to, to cool off during the summer heat. And nestled right next door to the pool is the Townsville Water Park. Free for everyone and open every day, except Tuesdays, from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. We loved taking advantage of this awesome water park. This is the Townsville City Library, located just a short 10 minute walk from the marina. This has been one of our favorite spots to go to while here. 
It's free to become a member. They've got free Wi-Fi, activities and crafts for kids, and a play area with lots of toys. So when we first got to the marina, people were telling us that we should check out the library. I was thinking, no, oh my gosh, I can't bring a two-year-old to a library where you're supposed to be quiet. I am so glad we checked out this library because it is awesome. There is dress up here. They've got an entire kids corner. There's toys. Charlie's over there with a, um, the activity of the week. There's a tent behind me. And this whole area is like a little U-shaped. So they can't really get out of this area without you knowing. So it's a good place to come, use the Wi-Fi, check out books. And the kids have an area where they can play. So arts and crafts, and the librarian has said like when we left, like we want to take a few extra coloring pages with us, we're more than welcome to. It is so cool. If you come to Townsville, you need to check out this library because it is awesome and it's cool mat. Next up is a bit further away, but definitely worth the distance. The Castletown Shopping Center. An air-conditioned mall with shops, cafes, supermarkets, and a free play center for kids. And they even put on free kids activities during school holidays. While we have been staying put for a longer period of time, we have also taken this opportunity to get some routine medical checkups done. And Charlie had her first dentist appointment ever. And this little rock star did amazingly. The Museum of Tropical Queensland. This is located a short 10 minute walk from the marina. And this museum is free to check out. Yes, you heard me correctly, free. They have an interactive science wing for kids and adults to play in, which is super cool, super interactive, and you can spend hours there. And on the top level, there is a play area for kids. The top level has a giant tree in the middle of a room with lots of plastic, tropical animals to spot in their habitats and an awesome slide to play on. There's also free Wi-Fi here as well. We have also been participating in weekly play groups at some local schools. We've been making new friends while also getting to do some messy play. 
there are a handful of free playgroups put on by nearby schools, all within a reasonable walking distance from the marina. And I have absolutely loved getting to be a soccer mom and getting to do routine playgroups. And while here in Townsville, Charlie has joined a gang. A scooter gang, that is. Another boat is on the same wharf as us, with kids roughly the same age, which has been amazing. And the kids have really bonded every afternoon heading up top for a wee bit of a scooter ride around the marina. We have absolutely loved the benefits of being land-based and we are going to miss Townsville and we have really enjoyed all that living in a city has to offer. We are by no means swapping boat life for land life, but it has been a refreshing change from our way of life. We are looking forward to dropping our lines, kicking off the wharf and getting back out on the water. Thank you so much for watching. If you are enjoying our videos and would like to help support us making videos and content, consider becoming a Patreon. The link is in the description below. And don't forget to click those like and subscribe buttons, and we will see you all 